Another attempt at blacking out the Tacoma Grill emblem. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. I'm going to make another attempt at blacking out the grill emblem for the Tacoma back here in my Tacoma Grill Project. Um, what I'm going to do, a different attempt today, I'm going to use a speaker um, as my mold, if you will. You'll see how that works. I have the emblem with the first try removed because it didn't work, and then a little bit more tent. I'm starting to run out. Um, what I'm doing right now, I've got the tent cut to the length I wanted anyway, or the size, trying to get it to flatten out here uh, because it came all rolled up like this. That's kind of a drag. So what I'm going to do, hopefully, I'm going to rubber band that tent over the top of this speaker. And coincidentally, and this is the speaker that came out of the Tacoma. So if you haven't seen what the OEM speaker looks like in the front doors, this is it. Uh, but the emblem happens to fit face down perfectly in this area. I don't know if that was by design or coincidence, but that means I can rubber band the film down here and then kind of push it down to seat, if you will, um, the tent over the top of the emblem. That's my plan. And the whole purpose in doing that is to try to get it on there with as few air bubbles and as good of a fit as I possibly can. That is my goal. So I'll sit you guys down and uh, show you how I'm going to try to do this again. First of all, I need to, I guess, uh, remove the top layer because that's the layer that I'm going to push the emblem down onto. Of course, that means it's going to be all sticky and that should be a whole lot of fun to mess with, but it's kind of what I have to do. So let's remove the top layer. And I will say the stuff is pretty easy to work with uh, as far as that goes. So. Fortunately, that pulls off pretty darn easily. All right, there's the top layer off. So now we have exposed where the badge is going to go. Now, before I had kind of hair dried it, if you will, softened it up a little bit so that it was kind of pliable when I put it on. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it the same way this time or not. Um, I don't know. But the idea is to go ahead and push this down right in the center to try to get it to adhere. That's the idea. So my thinking was to go ahead and put a rubber band around the edges to get this taut, if you will. Uh, so that I can have a firm surface to push on. So I'm going to go ahead and wrestle with that a minute. This being sticky is going to make that kind of fun. Okay, that was a rousing failure. So we're going to go old school here. Um, I'm just going to do it right on the table. I'm going to spray this thing down with a little bit of water. No soap, just water. I tried soap before and it left a residue of the soap um, on the emblem. So we're not doing it that way this time. This time, we're going to just put it on. So I need to get cover off of the sticky side, if you will. And I did ruin the first piece. I got stuff stuck on it. So that didn't work. It's very frustrating. I hate doing things like this. All right, we got the sticky side exposed. So now, in theory, we can just lay this on. That's what we're going to do. Here we go. Like I said, it's very cumbersome to work with. All right, wish me luck. And as I've said, I am not a professional temper. Now we need the hair dryer. I'm going to heat it up a little, trying to make it more flexible, more stretchy. Mm. 
Now I'm going to try to just work it on here. Hopefully. That's the plan. The water helps tremendously. Um, it will not destroy the adhesive for sure. And it allows me to kind of pull this stuff off a little bit easier to kind of move it around because it is very, very sticky. Without the water, it's uh, almost impossible. And I, before, I think I mentioned I used soap, but the soap actually left a residue on the emblem. So that did not work out well for me. And it's too bad because the job itself uh, was actually pretty good, I think. So we're gonna kind of just squeegee out some of the water now, trying to flatten this out on the emblem. That's my plan. Okay, after much finagling, trimming, bubble popping, hair drying, I think it's okay. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Am I gonna go with it? You better believe it. Uh, let's show you. And of course, you know, I kind of scratched it up a little bit doing it, but I don't think anybody will see any of that stuff, right? I mean, that looks pretty good. Uh, actually, this is the cover that's protecting the film. So this will peel off and then we'll have the film underneath. Uh, I will take that off here in just a few minutes. I want to go over this again. I still see some little bubbles and things in there. And again, I know it's not going to be perfect, um, but until I find a better solution, that's what it's gonna be. So let me uh, go over it one more time, then I'll take that cover off and show you guys what it's gonna look like. Um, the finished product. Time for the reveal. We're gonna go ahead and pull the protective cover off and see what we've got. Hopefully we've got something good. I'm gonna kinda pull it off from the top and go to the edges as opposed to the edges in uh, because I don't wanna pull it off the edges. So I kinda just grabbed a section there with a razor blade and we're just gonna kinda peel it away. At least that's the idea. Okay. All right, there is the finished product. Again, it's not perfect, but it's as close as it's gonna be for me anyway. There you go, that's what it's gonna look like. So kind of a muted look, if you will, um, of the chrome. That was my plan, and I think that's what I've ended up with. I know there's a bit of a glare, but uh, just to mute the chrome, that was my plan. So that's what I've got. I think it came out pretty good. I'm gonna sit it in the sun and let it dry for a little bit. And then uh, next up, we'll be installing it in the grill, um, as well as uh, transferring all of the gut of the grill over to the new grill. And then we'll be putting the new grill on the front of the truck. So that's the plan, that's what I'm gonna do. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of my job. Again, I know it isn't perfect, but this is probably, in all honesty, the third or fourth time I've done it now because I've tried to experiment with it and get it right, and this is about as close as I can get anyway. So leave a comment, let me know what you think. Was there a better way to do it? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two additional channels, Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator and Rob Motive Civic about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatch. Check them out. If you like them, please consider subscribing. 
Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.